All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Ranking of Kings episode 20. In the last episode was a an emotional roller coaster, brilliant episode, honestly. Up there, top five episodes of Ranking of Kings for sure. Um, but yeah, really great episode. I love the the kind of emotions with Kage, everything going on with Baji, and honestly, it was just really freaking good. Um, we had the 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 big four as well, their kind of fight, and then Oaken at the end, kind of just snapping or unlocking a further power up to himself which is going to be interesting to see what happens here um but yeah as always guys i like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the tra the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now oh yeah this is where we're at with moranjo okay oh but okay they're still here oh, bodgy seeing his mom is isn't just Maranjo seeing, you know, these people. Baji's actually getting to see his mom. Dude, man, that's traumatic. Oh, look at Baji. Yeah, she is very strong. I know the emotions are going to hit in this episode. Oh, boy. Immortal versus Invincible. How dare you kill me? What a beast. What do you mean she can't cross over here? What? Did she make some kind of deal or some bullshit? What's going on? Oh, she made another deal with the devil. Into the mirror. Oh, I see. Wow. Okay, wow. Wow. How do you beat the devil? How do you claim back your soul? Hmm? He's a good person. <laughs> Bodgy's like... Yes, sir, he is. Oh, Bodgy. <laughs> I can't take Bodgy tears, man. Damn, some heavy Maranjo emotions right now. What the flip is going on here? You just got to spectate a little bit. Bodji got to see his mom a little. That was nice. Hang on. This dark space, is this where... Daida is? Oh... He has such a good student, and he has such a good teacher. Oh, Baji's just gonna go and hug her soul. Watch. Is that Oaken's head? Oh my god, and his arms? Oh, Jesus, dude. This is fucked up. They are, they are fucked up. They're done. Appius is the only one left. Oh, <gasps> never mind. Oh, Hokuto. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. That's not fair. I know Oaken doesn't go for vital spots, but they look pretty freaking vital. Is that the demon? Are you going to change from here, Mananjo? We need some healers in this bitch, please. Quickly. Is he seeing all the memories now too? Yeah. Aww. Is he just figuring this out now? Or has he just not been shown this revelation yet? Does he understand their pain now? What up, Bosse? What's going on? You're alive? Yeah, no shit. Oh, Kage's fine? What? Oh, she healed him. Do you have any health potions or something? Anything? Wait, what? Is he the healer? Snakes. 
Snakes. The snakes destructing. Oh, for flip's sake, man. Boji? Boy! Oh, this kid, man. He looks fucked up. Who the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Big man's here. Let's go. Wait, what? Is he going to fight Boji? Please, no. Jesus Christ, dude. That's the best you can do, Kage. You're a, you're a literally trained assassin. You could have stabbed him. What the fuck are you doing, Bosse? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to be a snake. You don't want this. No, you don't want that. Bosse is fucked up. Why is he doing this? What does he know? What are you doing? Don't! Well, oh, yes! Yo! Dida can fucking heal! Whoever that was in the comment section that said this. Yeah. Wow. It makes so much sense that she inherited this from... Uh, that's so insane. The Dida doesn't know he can do this yet. Bosse used died as magic. <laughs> side step, side step. Yes. What if he put you back at 100% power just to fight you? He's always been this energetic. What do you mean? I really don't feel like y'all should be celebrating yet. Boji's at 100% now. He might be able to do something. That's true. Gotta let just unlimited power go up against him now. Shit, yeah, he's got a point with that. How the hell is Bossy gonna kill an immortal, though? He may be dumb strong. What is that gonna matter, though? Shit, dude. That's so insane, though. Dida being stupidly strong already, but also having this insane healing ability. That's awesome. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Bodji's best friend. I like how they just both instantly trusted him. My all-powerful son. Did he go for his wrists? He broke the sword with his wrist? You're still in your son's body. How does this work? How does the power of, of a giant pass on with someone's soul? I don't get it. So a giants have invincibility in this world? Shit, dude. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, bossy. Is he just going to beat him so much and not give him time to regenerate? And this is bossy half power. What the fuck? Wait, what? How does he plan on beating immortality? God. Damn bossy, bro. What the fuck's he doing now? Oh shit, he's doing that thing again. He's gonna launch it into space. <laughs> he's still thinking. Launch it into space, come on. What the hell is he doing? What the fuck? <laughs> what is he gonna do? Bosse is too much, man. 
Is he burying pin What? Is that gonna work? Is that actually working? I feel really bad for Oaken, but... Why is he looking at him like that? Bodgy looks like he wants to fight him. I swear to God if the episode ends right now. It's gonna end. Pain. Alright, so that was episode 20 of Ranking of Kings. Uh, Bosse's approach to dealing with Oaken is interesting. Um, I honestly thought he was just going to bat his ass into space. <laughs> I think that's... Honestly, I think that... Pretty, okay, the, it might have taken him a while to get back together. But uh, I think that would have been a good solution. But apparently, just burying him in a rock uh, is the solution for this. Which I suppose works. He's going to have to do it probably a few dozen times but it looks like it's gonna work it's kind of cruel on oaken who's kind of trapped in this awful evil body i don't know but if it works it works how else are we gonna kill an immortal um boss safe just flexing his absolute strength even at half power as well was insane and in died his body seems like he has some kind of inv invincibility trait uh, trait uh being a giant not sure how that works, his soul being passed into his son, but I suppose his son did also have to drink part of him. So something came along with that as well. No idea. Um, we obviously, at the start of the episode as well, we have a kind of, a kind of emotional kind of scene between Mananjo, Bodji's mom, and Mananjo's mom. Um, it was nice for Bodji there as well. He got to have a little bit of closure. Got to see like his mom being all strong and the best. And she even got to, she even, he even heard from her, she said, look how strong my son is. So good. Um, really awesome to see as well that Dida has the healing ability, like, um, that he's obviously, you know, got from his mom. That's, that's really freaking cool, honestly. Uh, and it's going to be interesting when Dida does eventually get his body back to see how much of a person he's changed into. Obviously seeing all these memories, seeing, seeing what's gone, going on outside. Um, maybe a changed person, I think. And uh, it's going to be really awesome to see. But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.